Alright, so we're checking out the only game where the best way to achieve freedom is to shove eight pounds of C4 up your ass. It's Stick Man Falling. More C4 up the ass, damn it! Stick Man Falling is one of those games where you're a stick man and you're supposed to break a lot of bones. Except I feel like the developer in this one is an extra sick bastard. Because he put together a lot of maps. No, like, you don't understand. A lot of maps. Like, a lot of maps. I'm still going. You can also strap different devices to your character. But the one thing that I haven't done in a while is find a way to break the game by getting stupid amounts of points in one shot that I can legitimately use. And so today I will torture people until I figure it out. It is important for you to understand just how stupid things are in this game. Let me show you something. Here is our stick man on the stairs as all stick men begin. Now, besides having a couple of different stick men that you can choose and besides having a couple of vehicles that you can choose, including a freaking howitzer, you can also wear these different kits. Why would you want to strap C4 to your back? Because you're a stick man. There's also props that you can use. What kind of props you say? Oh, you know, brick walls, fisty boxing gloves, saws, and yes, arrow turrets. But why stop at arrow turrets when you can also have freaking blade turrets? You might as well start loading howitzers into the turrets. Okay, so you gotta start from somewhere. So very first thing is we need to start getting enough points to open up boards so that we can eventually find a way to cause infinite amounts of pain. I did get this sport bike for free, so I might as well use it. Not in the correct way though. That's better. Everyone knows that when you don't have airbags, like on a motorcycle like this, your balls will suffice. I also got this C4 for free, so I'm might as well find out what the hell it does. And I have enough points to buy boxing gloves, so you know what? What the hell? Why not? Alright, Trevor. Set the stage, buddy. Oh my god! The fist is a lot worse than I thought! Did it punch my foot off my body? Better use this kit to keep sliding down the stairs. That's it. Just use your face. Fantastic. A little bit more. Yep. Bounce on your head every opportunity that you get. Damn it, I didn't quite make it to the secondary fist. See this bone breaking score? We're gonna get this way higher. Downward dog on a motorcycle? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna eject first. Okay. <laughs> Did my own motorcycle break me in half? <laughs> oh, that was my leg falling down the screen. I like this game already. I think we might be able to buy a new level. I bought this level called Danger Zone. Ah, uh, it looks pretty friggin' dangerous. This is like one of the first few levels. This is like level number three. Don't have enough money for this pinwheel yet, but we will. All right, just go ahead and take a little off the top. There we go. Hmm. I may need to time that a little bit better. I'm still in one piece and that's very dissatisfying. <laughs> Did get an 8,009 bone breaking score though. All right, come on, baby. It's all about timing. Nice. Uh-huh. Oh, huh, I don't, where, how the hell? Oh, always stick the landing with your forehead if you can. Now we're starting to get points. There's one thing I learned about in these games and that's if you can bounce on a ball, you always want to. All right, let's bounce. I did not bounce very far. Oh, you stay holding on to the bouncy ball. Please tell me it doesn't go anywhere. Like, I hope I can continue. Hold on, let me. Damn it! Dealing with this friggin' bladey thing is harder than I previously anticipated. I think I may have just found a way to get infinite points, but it takes way too long because you don't have to let go of this ball. It just, oh, that's sad. Oh shit, I went right off the board. So, oh, there is a bottom at least to it. Well, the motorbike is definitely the superior option on this particular board. I think we're going to get a new best. Have enough for the missile. I'm not gonna lie, this missile looked a lot bigger on paper. I guess it's time to find out exactly what the hell it does though. Go ahead and eject. Oh, it gives you a little bit of extra oomph. Hold on, can I use it now? You're damn right you can. Oh. Jesus, I think I may have reached a new height record. Oh God! My groin is in my mouth. Mm, 35,000 bone breaking score. I'm hoping we can eventually get a million. I obtained a new board. It's called Hourglass. I tried it one time already and got 42,000 points. I think this may be the promised land. And this is board number five. All right, bouncy ball, put a little C4 on. I'm kind of curious how my ball will interact with the other balls. I'm just going to hold on to it, I do think. Oh, God. So far, so good. <gasps> These boxing gloves are awful. And by awful, I mean fantastic. Every time I purchase this thing over here, it's usually a good buy. All right, let's see how good it is. 
It's all right. This is all that's left of my body. Oh, I'm sorry. There's another part of me. I think the thing I like most about this game is that your severed body parts, if they keep bouncing, you get the money for it. I love you, bouncy ball. Don't you ever leave me. Don't you ever leave me. I don't know how, but I was standing up with no torso. I could finally buy a UFO, so you know what? What the hell now? Okay, the UFO's a lot better than I previously anticipated. I made it off the board! Screw you, gay! Oh. Slowly moving my way through the stupidity. We're under shark jaws now. I'm just checking the water before I start using all the different... Ow. Using all... Jesus. All the different types of vehicles. The bouncy ball in this board is magical. Come on, rocket, bring me up. Oh, it's like a massage right on the small of my back. So good. Okay, the goal is don't ever let go of the bouncy ball, whatever you do. Okay, part of my body let go of the bouncy ball, but the rest of my, okay, now all of my body has let go of the bouncy ball. What the hell? How am I just stuck on the side of the wall? 14,000 bone breaking? That is not good enough. Wow, I reached the ceiling. I didn't think there was one. All right, you've gotta, you've gotta go down here a little slow. You can't use all of your momentum right away. Oh, yeah. Thrust, thrust into me. That sounded really bad. This is the slowest way I've made infinite points in my entire life. I mean, technically I completed the challenge that I that I set forth, but God, it's excruciating. I wonder if there's a faster way. Imagine this, you're on your bouncy ball. Things are looking fine. When all of a sudden, see the blades, they look bad, but they're actually not. The bad part is this over here when you start going against gravity and get thrusted while going upward like that. Just when you think it can get any worse. Because we have the bouncy ball, it actually bounces us back to the beginning and then recycles us on the board. As long as my bones don't break, we may be able to do this infinite- Whoa! <laughs> We may be able to do this infinitely. Damn it. It stopped. I only got 53,000 bone breaking. I need to find a character that doesn't get broken in half. All right, we're getting a shit ton of points from that, though. How about um, the Robo Doll? Oh, I need a little bit more. All right, lay across it. Thrust as hard as you can. Hold on, I may have to use the kit here. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. Now I just need to not get my body severed. I love the taste of blades going up my ass in the morning. Okay, now I can afford the Robo Doll. Do you still get ripped apart or are you strong? Longer. Okay, he looks pretty tough so far. Oh, yeah, this might be a winner. Oh, never mind. Okay, the idea is we can't get stuck down here. So I think the plan is to buy steam eventually, shove it down here to keep us going infinite. Okay, this is a really good area to get stuck to. Yes, continue to juggle me balls. See, they're good because they're very sensitive, so they don't go and rip your body in half like the other bastard items in this game. Mm, I like tasting it. Oh, no, no. Ah! Jesus, my arm! <laughs> Ow, insult to injury. On the plus side, I can absolutely buy the steam now. All right, put all these down here. Okay, it's working exactly as I wanted it to. Now, as long as... <sighs> oh, I was gonna say, as long as we stay together right there, everything will be fine. Okay, how about if I start down here? Basically, go the opposite way. This way, I don't get my body severed. All right, I've managed to do three full revolutions so far. I think that's gonna be the end of it, though. I lost my, my bounce ball. Don't mind me. I'm just waiting for the rest of my body parts to collect over here. Oh, there we go. Welcome to a board called Saw Hole. Can you guess what the purpose of this board is? Oh, oh, my foot. Yes, I'm caught inside of the saw. <laughs> Infinite points, bitch. I told you it was only a matter of time. Eventually, one way or the other, we would find a way to get infinite points. Well, I guess I'll go make a sandwich. And uh, when I come back, we should have enough points to unlock basically every board there is. came back and my character had somehow fallen through the blades. Uh, but what we did get was 13 million freaking points and 500,000 some odd coins. You're too kind, game. Obviously, I was able to buy a lot of maps just now. And if I need more money, I guess I can always just go back. Take out the UFO on this one, I think. Why does my UFO have a weed whacker engine? I just realized this. Oh, what the hell is this board? Yeah, give me the missile. It's been serving me well so far. All right, UFO. Onward. Is that a frigging saw on a pendulum? Oh, I 
getting some pretty good points here all of a sudden. Oh, hold on. We still have some extra. We still have some oomph left. Man, the bouncy ball is always just the best on every board. Okay, there's a lot of arrows here. Come on, wriggle your ass down into the shaft. Wriggle over there. You're so close. God. God, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. Oh! Oh, yeah! This board is truly amazing. Oh, I love it. I realized the truth in life at this point. The more blades, the better. Oh, I met my head again. I know we can do better than 125,000 on this board. I don't know what's happening, but I like it. <laughs> Look at the points. Yes, baby. Feed me. These boards are getting so good. This one is called Pitfall. I'm starting to get real curious if things gonna are gonna continue to get stupider and stupider as time goes on here. I still haven't been able to die yet. I just keep getting thrust back into the air by this damn saw. This is what it's like getting brain surgery when you have bad medical insurance. Oh. Yum, yum. <laughs> Oh, the ball is keeping me stuck. I mean, I'm only getting the blades up the ass, but it's giving me a shit ton of points. I had to reset the game just to see what else there was. I guess if you go down far enough, there's crossbows as well in this board. To adventure. I think I may have actually gotten stuck in a worse position than last time. At least it looks a lot more painful. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just come back when I'm a millionaire. Oh, game, what'd you stop for? Cheap ass bastards. I mean, I guess I can buy the saws now. This makes me so sad, but I'm actually gonna have to let my bouncy ball go. Well, after it gets me a ton of points. What the hell is going on? Oh, it's the arrows. They're getting ripped through my feet, which is giving me even more points. Oh, sweet magic. I don't think I ever thought that I would become so skilled at torturing stick figures. I finally got to go down a different way. I'm curious what's down here. Oh, it's a place for me to die. Guess I have enough money to buy more boards. This is just called the fall. What can I put in the fall? I think the best option is almost always steam. All right, I just have to make my way over to this thing that looks like it wants to rip my heart out of my anus. Ah, I fell off the back of the board. Oh, there we go. You just gotta go front first. Damn it, my ball! This is a very painful place to get stuck right here. Oh, multiple fisters. <laughs> oh, get no what am I ejecting from? There's nothing to eject. This is called meteors. I like the sound of that. To the UFO, damn it. Right, where are the meteors at? Found them. Oh, they're not that meteory, actually. Okay, they got a lot more meteory now. What the hell? What am I? What am I bouncing? What is bouncing me? There's nothing here. Let's see how the bouncy ball does with this. Like I said, the bouncy ball is typically the best at everything it does. These aren't really meteors. They look like blueberry cookies. You know what these meteors look like to me? Pissant damage. Not good enough. New board. Punch machine. This one's called punch machine where do i get punched at never mind found it it's not really getting punched so much as it is just getting all right now now it's kind of getting punched eh, it's all right i'm kind of like wine tasting these different levels this one's called slot machine it's pretty much as bad as you think it would be and by slots realistically all there is is a bunch of <laughs> saws and pistons i think i'm gonna put saws down here if i can get down there with the bouncy ball we may be able to get a shit ton of points did my arm just rip off i think my arm just ripped off i still have it but i think it's because it's penetrating my body. Yeah, you can definitely get some decent points on this board. Okay, I'm getting to a new area on the board. It was a hell of a thing trying to get over here, but I think I finally managed it. I never thought I would try and like, you know, die as fast as possible just to get to see a different part of the agony. Okay, I'm right where I want to be, which is stuck on one of my own saws. Now it's time to bask in the glory of the points. On the plus side, I'll get to bathe in a river of my own blood as well. You boys like cherry Kool-Aid? This is how you skin a chicken. I like how the only thing that keeps breaking is my skull. The game's like, ah, it's the least most important thing you have. New board. This one one's called Crazy Lab. Not really sure how things can get crazier than they've already been, but whatever. What the hell is this thing throwing at me? It's like exploding sauce. <laughs> Jesus! This is fairly violent. I had one single giblet that went flying off the board, except this time, the board edge was really far away. Somehow I'm still getting points too. I have no idea how this is happening. It's really hard just sitting here while the score continues to go up. Anytime I see a board called Minced Machine, I expect good things. Ow, piss, my head fell off. Give me your blades. I love it. So smooth. Oh, uh, I just went off the board the wrong way again. 
I like to get rid of my head first. It seems to just be dead weight. Oh, this looks like an excellent place to get points. See, this is even better than before because now I'm stuck between three blades. Don't you let go of that ball. I decided to unlock a board called Slide to Hell. All right, hell is looking pretty bad so far. God, when you're not getting arrows up the ass. All right, we're still moving. I'm kind of wondering if I should use my kit or not. Do I have enough arrows in me now? Eh, probably. <laughs> Got like 90,000 points immediately by using that. All right, I've got to keep my ball on me here. All right, so far so good. My ball is absorbing all of the arrows for the most part. The problem is it bounces a lot less now because it has arrows all up in it. I'm stuck in the wall. I'm legitimately stuck inside of the wall. I don't think I've ever had a game where I could find more ways to break it than this one. Oh my head, I just saw it go by. All right, I've been hanging here for a while. Let me see if I can eject and make something happen. Nope, I'm just resting my groin on this crossbow. I'm caught in the blade. How many different ways have we found to get infinite points now? I love a stage that's literally called floating points. It's the last stage. Oh my God. Now this is the very first attempt here. The maiden voyage, if you would. Just to find out how good floating, mm, floating points really is. If I can get past the crusher. Oh, it makes you just float in the air. Is there a place to land where you can stop? <laughs> I love how my head is just caught in the saw. All right, I managed to make it down here with my ball now. Well, half of me did. I don't know where my legs went. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I just float here, gaining points for life. I mean, it's pretty good, but there's so many other ways that we found to gain infinite points that I really don't need this. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and lay here and lose an infinite amount of skin once again. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Stickman Falling. <laughs> Until the next time. <laughs> Stay foxy and much love.